Yo, what's up? Welcome to Playlist Supply. My name is Benji, one of the co-founders, and today I'm going to run you through our latest update, which we just released. We've added a whole bunch of new features, which make the tool way more powerful. For starters, in the top right, we've got a toggle light and dark mode button and a logout button. Underneath the search bar, you're going to notice a couple new things. We've added a drop down menu, which allows you to search for something else other than just the playlist. It's basically a parameter. So if you're looking for playlists with only email contact, you can go ahead and select email. Right now, I'm gonna run a quick search for rap playlists that only have email addresses. And as you can see, we're getting plenty of results. I'm gonna let this search finish out so you can see the extent of the results you can generate. Prior to the update, we had a lot of people getting playlist results without contact information or without emails. And what this drop down does is it allows you to search within your own parameters. We've also added a clear search button. And what this does is it allows you to restart the search without having to refresh the page. Just a reminder, if you want to do multiple keywords, you can always add something new to the search bar and hit search now and it will add to the current table. I just hit clear search and we're going to start again. This time we're going to use the social media drop down option. What this does is it's going to search for playlists that have social media contact info. I'm going to go ahead and let this search finish out as well. Once again, our table is fully, fully customizable. And what I mean by that is you can click on the followers, you can click on the owner name, and you can sort the whole table by different parameters if you're looking for the high follower playlists. There's also the options to export as a CSV or a PDF or even copy the whole table. I'm gonna let this search finish out, let you guys see the power we got going. As you can see, we're getting a lot of different playlists with Instagram contact, different social media contact. This is good if you want the artist to do the outreach themselves heard a lot of success with that. Going to go ahead and try again. This time we're going to use the Instagram specific search. We did Instagram separate from social media because we know a lot of artists like to DM and get in touch with people directly and this is really successful. It's always good to touch base with your fans directly and using Instagram is one of the best ways to do that. So the Instagram drop down option is really, really awesome for those of you looking to run a real organic campaign. Tons of results, lots of playlists. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the search again. All right, let's give Twitter a try. We've added a Twitter dropdown for the same reason as the Instagram one. We had a lot of requests for people specifically looking to do outreach via Twitter, and lots of playlist owners actually prefer this way to get reached out to. Let that load up. And as you can see, we're getting lots of results, lots of different contact info. Now you can always sort the data in the table by the parameters at the top, like sorting by followers or sorting by description, etc. You can also export as a CSV or a PDF. And these are features we improved, but they were in the old version as well. As you can see, I'm sorting the data in the table by the parameters at the top. And remember this sorting works in Excel as well. Another thing we've added is at the bottom, we've added different pages to make the data more manageable. Next, we're going to do a really interesting one. This is a similar artist search. And what this does is it searches for similar artists to the artists that you type in. This can be really, really effective as a A&R tool. And also if you're looking to do some market research or even break an artist into new playlists of similar sounds. I'm going to go ahead and sort by followers again.
Now, although on the site, there's different pages, if you export as a PDF, CSV or Excel, you're gonna get them all on one big page. Let this search finish out just so you can see how many results we're gonna get. That's basically the summary of our latest update. These algorithms in the dropdown are really, really effective. And we've had a couple beta testers already get back to us with lots of success. Go ahead and if you already have an account, try it out, check out the update, let us know what you think. And if you're new to Playlist Supply, I highly recommend this tool. It's a really, really accessible way to run your own playlist campaigns and you know, kind of remove the middleman from the whole playlist game. Thank you guys for joining me on this little run through of the update. I'm always available via email. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.